In this session, we'll go over the interface of the Artec Studio software and its basic controls. To launch Artec Studio, double-click the corresponding shortcut on your desktop. There are three main activity zones in the Artec Studio interface. The Workspace panel on the right side of the UI contains information about all the scans and models which were created or imported into the current project. In the control panel on the left side of the UI, you can start a scanning session, apply the necessary algorithms, and use various editing tools. The 3D window in the center displays all currently active 3D models and other graphical information. Artec Studio project files are saved in an sproj format. A project includes folders which contain the project's encoded scan data and editing history. Please note how the data is displayed after being loaded in. Each project can consist of two different types of data, scans and fusions. Scans are the raw information you get after scanning. To examine the components which make up a scan, you can double-click on the scan's name in the workspace window on the right. As you can see, a scan consists of multiple three-dimensional snapshots, which are aligned with each other during the scanning process. These snapshots are called frames. If tracking is lost while scanning, your data will be split into multiple scans and stored in a group. In addition to scans, the project can also contain fusions. These are polygonal models, which are usually the result of post-processing scan data but they can also be imported into the software or be individually captured frames. If you select a model by clicking on its name and then click on the Properties button at the bottom of the Workspace panel, you can see the following information. The global registration status, the scanner type, the number of polygons, and the size of the model in RAM. All the scans captured during scanning or loaded into the software are displayed in the workspace. They can be either visible or invisible. The visibility of a scan is set on the left side of the workspace panel. If the check mark is selected, the object will be displayed in the 3D window and all the algorithms you run will be applied to that scan. Algorithms are not applied to invisible objects or scans. You can switch the visibility of objects between select all, deselect all, and invert selection. In Artec Studio, you can switch between several modes of displaying your data. You can switch the color texture on or off, as well as set different rendering parameters. Also, you can switch between different preset viewpoints. Let's look at the ways to move around your 3D model in the 3D window. Double click on a model to place a temporary rotation center on it. The temporary rotation center is marked by a small sphere. Use the left mouse button to rotate the model around the temporary rotation center. Use the right mouse button or mouse scroll to zoom in and out of the model. To pan around the model, hold down both the left and right mouse buttons. To the left of the 3D window, is the control panel. The scan tab is used to control the scanning process. In this tab, you can also choose the scanning mode and the device which you would like to use. The autopilot tab allows the user to automatically generate models from their raw data without having to manually post-process scans. The Edit panel will help you modify the ready model or edit the raw data. The Tools tab contains a number of algorithms grouped according to their uses. The registration algorithms are used to refine your scan data and improve accuracy. The algorithms for creating polygonal models are in the Fusion section. Post-processing algorithms will help you edit your model. We will look at them more closely in future tutorials. 
The Align tab will help you merge your data if the object was captured in several positions. The Fix Holes tab will help you smooth edges and fill holes in a fused model, as well as create bridges between mesh islands. The Texture tab can transfer your color texture from raw scans or other models to your fusions. The Construct tab is used to extract CAD data from your 3D models. And in the Measures tab, there are several measuring tools available. And finally, at the bottom left, you have your History, Settings, and Feedback tabs. The History tab allows you to reverse certain operations. The Settings tab controls various behaviors of the software, including memory usage and capture and visualization settings. You can use the Feedback tab to send us suggestions and tips on how to improve Artec Studio, as well as to report errors. This brings us to the end of this introductory video. The use of the tools and features of Artec Studio will be covered in our upcoming tutorial videos. Thank you for watching.